Hi everyone, my name is Armin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, I am gonna be roasting my followers' spaces. I asked everyone on Instagram to send over their photos and whoo, there was a lot and there were a few problematic spaces and we're gonna unpack a few of them in today's video. This video idea came from a few of you, but shout out to Logan. She messaged me about this video months ago and here we are. This first space is what I like to call the timeout room and <laughs> Leslie submitted her space to me because she doesn't know her style. She doesn't know what she's doing. She starts projects and never finishes them. And her cute little dog ate half of her sofa. <laughs> she also said her husband works in the dining room, which, ooh, I don't know what's going on in that dining room. I feel like she just doesn't know what she's doing. Let's take a look at what we have here. And <laughs> there's not a lot, there's not a lot of furniture. So the first thing that we need to address is the orange timeout chair in the corner of the room. <laughs> Girl, what is that? I feel like it would be so weird to sit down in that chair right next to the sectional and it just, looking at it just stresses me out. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. I feel like a chair does not belong there. I would get rid of the chair completely, maybe put it in a different room. And this space is really looking for something vertical. I would put a floor lamp there. I would even put a little side table so you have something to set your drinks on. Let's also address the rug. <laughs> <laughs> this rug is so ugly, I'm sorry. I don't like these types of rugs. First off, I think it's way too harsh against her beautiful dark brown floors. She needs something that is maybe more of a mid-tone gray, something that's more along the lines of her sectional. I think the white with the black just like throws everything off. And when you're dealing with a little bit of a smaller space, you don't want your rug to be like, Look at me, because it's gonna draw your eyes to the floor, it's gonna make it look smaller. I'm gonna link some really beautiful, affordable rugs that have more of a gray, cream, and beige. We are running out of light, everybody, hold on. I just feel like the rug placement is super off. I would actually just scoot it back a few inches. That way, when you're walking in and out of that door, you have more of a clear pathway. I think just moving that rug will help with the flow of your space. Now, I don't know what that little ottoman is to the side. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to sit on it. I don't know if I'm supposed to store things on it. And it just feels, it feels like it doesn't belong there. I feel like you can just keep that space empty or bring in some really cute ottomans to stack and have additional seating. But this little, this little gray one, she just looks a little sad. Um, also, another thing to note, your sectional is touching the wall. And pull that sectional out maybe three to four inches so that your curtains aren't puddling all weird. And maybe your cute little dog won't destroy them. And good lord, the curtains! <laughs> they're like, they're falling off. I would be afraid to sit down. Actually, there's no space for me to sit down because the cutie little dog ate all the cushions. You might want to try this little apple spray. A lot of people have recommended this to me. That way your pets and your puppies won't chew and bite things. I'm not sure if you're going to reupholster or refinish the pillows that got ruined, but if you're not, and if you're thinking of getting a new sofa, a new sectional, I will link some of my favorites down below in the description box. There's a lot of furniture missing, right? Like we need a coffee table. I would definitely go for something oval or rectangular. That way it doesn't affect the flow of the space. And the dining room area is kind of a mess. She did tell me that she's working on a gallery wall, which we love that for her. And honestly, there's a, there's a lot of smaller, family photos scattered throughout the space. I would consolidate all of that and maybe use that in your gallery wall. And in the empty spaces, maybe consider a larger art piece. That way you have some balance going on. You have a gallery wall and then a large piece on one wall. It's gonna create a little bit of visual interest. I would also carry the curtains into the dining room, which by the way, you guys know, I have my favorite Amazon curtains that are super affordable. Um, also link down below and just bring that curtain rod all the way up, Leslie. It's just like, it's, it's cutting off the room in a weird spot. The boob light, of course, <laughs> 
<laughs> the boob lights gotta go. And there are so many beautiful flush mounts available right now that look stylish, they don't look dated, or it's a perfect time for you to introduce a chandelier in, in the dining room and really kind of separate that space by utilizing lighting. Let's kind of address the pony wall situation. I've never liked those. I feel like it's unnecessary and it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely unnecessary to put home decor on them. I think just keep them cleared and that way it doesn't feel cluttered. Your space feels a little bit more clean and simple. This next room is what I like to call the golden chair room and it is from Jacqueline. Thank you for sending this over and she describes her style as earthy, Japandi, neutral, but she also likes antiques. The first thing that caught my eye in the room were these golden chairs and <laughs> Now, they're not my style. I'm sure in person they're very beautiful and it's like a gold caning and green velvet. <laughs> I just don't think it works in this living room. Um, I'm sure that she can repurpose these chairs in another space in her living room or in her home. She wasn't shy in investing in her space even though she lives in a rental. By the way, I am seeing a lot of my recommendations in this room, which I love the Calcutta Viola table, the golden mirror, the pottery barn vessel. These are all things that I would actually buy for my home or I own them in my home. And I think this space just needs a little bit of editing. I mean, it's so beautiful, tall ceilings, that little console table behind the sofa, I would take that away and instead of putting it behind the sofa, I would actually move it to where that golden mirror is and let's try to create some symmetry with your built-ins and that empty wall. So put that console there and maybe a large vertical art piece. That way you create some form of symmetry. I noticed that you like this kind of eclectic mix of design styles. So it's really important that you have some symmetry somewhere in your space. And I think that's a great place to start. And since we're putting the console there, that little side table with the lamp, which by the way, I love that lamp. Again, it can go somewhere else in the room. I, I don't think it's needed there. Since we took away that little lamp situation, like where the TV is, that little corner is begging for a floor lamp. Like it's just, it wants something tall, maybe something with wicker. I will link some of my favorites down below that I'm like, uh, built-ins are where I'm a little bit lost. There's a lot of like small trinkety pieces and those are definitely great to add personality, but try to focus on your larger pieces and then group them together with your smaller ones. I just, I can't see like a clear story in, in these shelves. And I wanna see a clear story in these shelves because you have some really cool, interesting pieces. And that mantle, um, again, I feel like it's a great opportunity to have like a moment. I see that little sculpture from Amazon that I recommended. Big kudos to you for investing in pieces that you truly love. I even love that huge pendant in the middle. I think it really helps to ground the space. I, I feel like I can't roast this one that much. There's some really good stuff happening here. Hello. I even like the shaggy rug. I think it gives it a nice soft texture. Jacqueline, I mean, oh, so good. Oh my God, I am so excited about room number three and I'm calling it Versailles, but make it coastal. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing when you first see these photos. It's from Brandy and she was really excited to do this video, which Brandy, thank you for sending these over. Um, she lives in New York and this is her apartment. Her style used to be more is more, chinoiserie and all of those like extra pieces which you can see in the foyer area, she has this kind of like French antique cabinet thing. And then next to it is this beautiful Lucite console table and this kind of floral wall sconce. Now, <laughs> I just feel like when you're looking at this space, this particular part of her apartment, it feels very dated. There's just like a lot going on. She told me that one of her new favorite interior designers is Jeremiah Brent, which if you guys don't know, he has like this California cool style mixing traditional with rustic and it's so beautiful and effortless. And I think Brandy can really achieve that here in this space. If it were up to me, I would obviously paint the foyer a fresh 
white paint. I would do the entire apartment in white. This apartment is so beautiful. Look at those arches. It's like the arch of destiny. Yeah, I just feel like she needs to fine tune some of these things. Like the console area, I love the palm tree moment. I think it's so special. Nobody has a console like that, but pairing it with another vintage piece makes it feel drab. So I would honestly take out the sconce, maybe put it in a different part of a room and put like a nice art piece there, maybe a mirror. Same goes with that antique cabinet. I would move it in a separate area and have it be a statement piece in a different part of your apartment. Also, I feel like the foyer needs a beautiful chandelier. She has a boob light right now, which <laughs> we don't like those. Let's move on to the living room area. A lot of the photos I saw in my DM, I felt like the living room was like empty and I wasn't sure if they just couldn't find the right coffee table. They were waiting for their coffee table. I would try to tone everything down, bring in some more creams, bring in some more taupes and browns. In her dining room, she has a lot of those darker tones. So also I feel like that seating area needs a side table. You just need a little bit more pieces to make this space homey. Imagine you're living room as like a little conversation area. And right now there's really like, I feel like I'm not getting, I'm not getting that at all. It doesn't feel inviting, doesn't feel cozy. The dining area, I feel like it's, it's very dark with those drapes. I'm getting like old Versailles hotel French vibes. I feel like to make this dining room just a tiny bit more successful, I would go for like shears or white curtains to pair with that beautiful brass Rod, oh my God. And look look at how it's all the way to the ceiling. It's making the room look so big. Love the antique mirrors. Brandy, I think you're, you're on the right track and I can't wait for you to get your new pieces. And thank you for sending your photos for this video. This next room is the big white box and Laura sent this over. She just renovated her home and she just wants to make sure her pieces are talking to each other, they're cohesive. <laughs> the first thing that I noticed is that there's a lot of really big art pieces and they are hung way too high. I don't even know where to look. What am I looking at? Um, I And I can tell her ceilings are super tall from the photos, like this piece right above the window. I don't know that I would put that there. And I guess that's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's like the curse of having really tall walls because you have to fill it and I don't know that it's my favorite I feel like if you if you look at it, you're just like <laughs> I just feel like it's very cold right like the space doesn't feel inviting it doesn't feel cozy and it's because of all the white space which there's nothing wrong with negative space by the way like I love a good empty wall and you know, my, I like this empty. I think the problem with this space is there's not enough personal decor. She did tell me a lot of these art pieces are like local artists that she supports, which is so awesome. And I love that she has these pieces. I kind of almost wish in this one area of the, of the house where there's a, a console, she said that was antique. I wish there was a big art moment there because right now it's just empty. The barn door with the art, it's like not my thing, but the um, Milo Bowman sofa, that curved, beautiful situation. I love that. The pillows though are questionable. I don't like that it's just on one side. I think it's like, do I just sit on that one side and over here I can't sit down. It's just confusing to me. Maybe you could do like a day bed also in front of the sofa to make it more cozy and then another seating arrangement in the corner. I feel like the running theme of all the living rooms I've seen today is that there's no conversation area happening. All the seating is just on one side. So that's just like a big tip for everybody. Create like a little circle of chairs, your sofa, that way when you have people over, it just feels natural to have a conversation. I feel like another good thing to include in this space is like decorative pedestals. This one I love, but I also recommend this white one. She does have more of a mid-century style. And I just think there needs to be like more personal home decor. Laura, I think you just need to fill your walls queen because you've got a lot of it and take advantage of all that vertical space and fill it with beautiful pieces. And the living area is begging. It is begging you for a chandelier. I think that's just gonna, again, help to make this space a little bit more cozy. 
All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if I roasted my followers enough or should I have like been a little bit more mean? <laughs> But if you enjoyed this video, don't go yet. Go ahead and watch my stop doing this in your kitchen video. People are having a blast in the comments and so am I. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.